Hey there, pimple stoppers. Well, isotretinoin can be an incredibly effective treatment for acne, and it's really one of the only treatments that we have that can give a long-term clearance of acne. It can sometimes be associated with severe acne flaring when people start it, sometimes called purging. In this video, we're gonna talk about what can we do to prevent purging, and then also how to address it when severe purging occurs. Now, when it comes to purging from isotretinoin, one of the most important things we can do to prevent it is to go slowly. Sometimes we often try to go quickly to get done with the medicine or because of some of the logistical barriers to get introduced with pregnancy prevention programs like iPledge. But when it comes to flaring of acne when we start this medication, starting at a high dose and quickly is one of the biggest things that can lead to this happening. So starting at a lower dose and going a little bit slower initially, we might still get to that same dose in the end, but getting there more slowly is gonna help reduce flaring. And what this means is instead of starting at like half a milligram per kilogram or one milligram per kilogram today, potentially, especially in those who have more acne to start at baseline, whose acne is more severe, if we start lower, if we start more in that 0.2 to 0.4 milligrams per kilogram per day range and go up more slowly over the two to three months, that's gonna help prevent that acne from flaring. So especially for those who have more severe acne, starting low and going slower in kind of our ramp up to get to that final kind of daily dose of isotretinoin and Accutane is gonna to help to prevent flaring. The next thing we can do to prevent flaring with isotretinoin is using a second generation antihistamine. These are medicines like cetirizine, which goes Zyrtec, or loratadine, claridine, or really just any kind of non-sedating antihistamine. And what we've seen in randomized controlled trials is that those who take antihistamines and isotretinoin have much lower rates of having that flaring or purging with isotretinoin than those who just take isotretinoin Accutane on its own. And these are medicines that are over the counter, they're very well tolerated, they're inexpensive. So this I think is a very simple thing that we can do as an adjunctive strategy together with isotretinoin to really reduce that rate of flaring. And again, especially in those people who have more severe acne at the beginning, who are gonna be more likely to have that issue of purging and flaring, using an antihistamine is a great way to help prevent this. The other nice thing about antihistamines is in those same trials, people actually got better faster. So not only were they less likely to have flaring of their acne, but they're actually, their acne actually improved faster and they were more satisfied. I mean, ultimately what we care about when treating acne is that people feel good about themselves, that they're happy with the treatment. And so the fact that people were more satisfied when they were treated with the antihistamines together with isotretinoin really highlights the value of that strategy. Now, sometimes people have extremely severe acne before we start. We know that flaring is going to be an issue. People have acne where there's crusting and bleeding that really severe, sometimes we call it acne conglobata. In those settings, it can sometimes be helpful to start Accutane together with oral steroids like prednisone to help reduce that risk of flaring, to help calm down all of that severe inflammation. So sometimes starting isotretinoin together with like half a milligram per kilogram or maybe even a milligram per kilogram per day of prednisone, at least for the initial month or two and then gradually coming off of that, can be very helpful to help prevent flaring and scarring and damage from that really severe inflammatory acne. Now the other thing that can sometimes happen, unfortunately, is we do everything we can to try to prevent flaring of acne from happening. We start isotretinoin, and for some people, they develop a really severe worsening and flaring of their acne that sometimes goes by the name acne fulminans. And in this case, often we do need to use medicines like prednisone to help manage that. Sometimes we'll stop isotretinoin for a period of time and use prednisone to calm down that inflammation until that kind of bleeding and crusting is over, and then very slowly start isotretinoin and gradually come off of prednisone. Sometimes we're able to just continue and work our way through that. But in this kind of severe flaring, sometimes just like what we might need to do in someone with severe acne before starting it, using some prednisone can help to manage that. And sometimes we even need to take a break from Accutane, from isotretinone to let that inflammation calm down. So to summarize, when it comes to preventing and, and addressing purging and flaring from isotretinone, the first most basic things that we should really be thinking about broadly are using antihistamines together with isotretinoin. This has been shown in clinical trials to prevent flaring of acne and also to improve patient satisfaction and improve how quickly people get better. We can also make sure that we're starting slowly and going 
cautiously as we increase the dose of isotretinoin. So start low and we go kind of slowly and cautiously. Especially in those who have more severe acne before we start, this is really important to make sure that we prevent the likelihood that there is flaring of acne. And then in those who have really severe acne or who develop this kind of acne fulminant type of problem where there's a very severe flare of acne with starting isotretinoin, using oral steroids together with isotretinoin, with Accutane, to help address that severe inflammation and let us get over that initial hump so then we can use that highly effective medicine to address the severe and scarring acne to prevent it from continuing to cause more issues going forward and with the goal of putting it into a long-term remission, having long-term clearance of acne. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please give it a like so we can share it with the community and please subscribe to the channel. Your support really means a lot to me and it's what makes these videos helpful. Ask me your questions about acne in the comments below. And until next time, see ya.